the cycle we built from post pandemic I'm seeing something uh, one crack news that is alarming to me and what's alarming to me is we're stuck in a shell we're stuck in a shell that we ain't getting out of people are so messed up in the brain they don't realize how they present themselves to other people. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've been somewhere and it's black males, mostly, that just flat out stink in public places. And it's disgusting to me. It is literally disgusting. I mean, flat out stink. Makes no sense to me. Do we need to be told about our hygiene? Do you realize in the 80s and 90s, being clean was our way of life? Cleanliness is the next to godliness is not in the Bible, but damn. How would I would not even think to go in a public place with people and my hygiene ain't right. That wouldn't sit well with me at all. I'd be like, I gotta go. Now you see all these these uh, narratives about us and what they say. We're resorting to those. They used to say these bad things about us in the past. Oh, they're just nothing but savages. Now we praise. We want to be savages. We want to do savagery things. Now we even trying. We smelling like. Them. I've never been more embarrassed in my life. I walked in the store. I was in the mall. I walk in the store and I'm like, I jumped back like this because it just threw me off. Like, like, whoa. Yeah, it's, it threw me for a curve. So I'm like, whoa, what is this? And what it happened to be? Easy. A brother in there stinking up the joint. And he's just sitting there, touching clothes. I'll be like, what you just gonna do? Grab the clothes and put them back on?
telling you, man. Y'all been had. Y'all been bamboozled. Let her straight run amok. The whole nine. Man, these people really didn't didn't have an idea when it came forth to what other people might think or what everyone else would assume. Like, this is what I think of you or this is what I assume for you. They never even thought like that. Their process of thinking was different. Their process of thinking was, well, let me see. What I can get into next. The process of thinking is not aligned with anything that you guys are basically in know of us, a know how of. You know, the, the, the process of thinking is I'm too lazy to do all this stuff. And I blame marijuana. Now, for most people, it robs people of their ambition to do things. They put things off. Procrastination is at an all-time high. Now, some people can function. They can smoke and they can function. And they just say, hey, I'll just do this. But at the end of the day, after I've taken care of all my business, I go get a little high and pass out and go to sleep. That's what they do. They're functioning. But the overall design of it, a lot of us ain't functioning. They smoke way more than they can handle. And they only work to take care of their habit. What's gone? Cleanliness. Preparation is gone. What else is gone? They don't care. The house smell like you know what? The air freshener ain't gonna work if you stink. Get your nasty butt in a bathtub and clean yourself up. Y'all just wake up and run outside. That's something white boys used to do. They just wake up and run outside. That's not how we, we grew up. We didn't grow up this way. So you had to wash your butt. You had to make sure you was clean, teeth brushed, hair done. We didn't want to be seen not taken care of. Even if you didn't have, even if you didn't have certain things, like let's say you didn't have clothes or the top fashion, you at least gotta be clean. Shoot, I knew people that used to iron blue jeans. <laughs> they wanted to be fly, they wanted to be well kept, 
They wanted to be presentable. Even if they clothes weren't on par, they weren't gonna stink on top of it. And these are people in suburbia, suburbia rather. So I'm like, man, these people are in suburbia like this. How do you come outside, stinking up the joint, coming out of suburbia? That I don't get. And there's more and more of these stinky brothers going around in different places. I was in the mall disappointed, man. Seeing all these stinky brothers everywhere. I mean, there's another one. What? Stinky brother. There's another one over there. What? Stinky brother. There's another stinky brother. How many more stinky brothers we got to have? Before somebody realize there's too many more because I hear stinky. This, this got to... <laughs> Right, this this aggression can't stand. Why is everybody stinking? It's not making any stinking sense. I don't know if it's the back of their neck or whatever's thinking, but something's thinking. And I walked out of the store because he, he was stinking. Now imagine you work at the store and you got to tell that person to leave because they stink. See, I could just walk out. Now imagine you work, work there and you say you got to leave, sir, because you stinking up the place. What you think happens after that? That guy come back mad, want to shoot somebody because he embarrassed. They told him in part, private person about his hygiene. Oh great, don't tell me it's another flood. Blocked off the whole street. Uh, it must have been a tree that fell down on the house. I had to learn to get off the road because the tree fell down and almost took the car out. Oh, the power's out. Damn. The power's out. For real. Like, this whole town is out. Holy tamole. Bro, when I tell you the whole town is out, the town is out. Look at that. It's blackout. That's why they got everybody out here. All the power is out down there. Ooh, we. Okay. All right. I get it now. The power is out. Damn, it's out all the way down 
to right here. Now they've seen the light. everything back that way so the power line a tree must have fell down and hit the power line and that whole town is black yeah we need to be ashamed uh, it's more younger black males that walk around every day in public places stinking. And I don't even understand that philosophy. We are definitely not a stinking people. <laughs> like we are the most cleanliest people like we know. But when you're smoking too much and you don't care about appearances no more and you just waltz outside You know, this is the, this is what happens. You don't keep yourself up. Nothing. This is what happens. Yeah, you don't you don't keep up your appearances. That's on you. Sorry to hear that. Man, they closed down all the Regal movie theaters by me. Take me off, man. It really did. To see all those young people out of work. Tell me, we are getting. We are headed to an apocalypse of global proportions. We got people out here living like savages. We got all of these different things that's going on and on the Patreon. We've been talking about business, uh, getting people acclimated to what's about to come next. Because it's going to get crazy. Yeah, well, my take is, my take might be a little bit different than everybody else's take. But to me, it's a simple process. Wash your ass. Because if it is a shutdown and a a water shortage and all of these different things that's going on. We're gonna have a major problem.
people never people never understood how the body works what you eat what you smoke what you drink that stuff comes out in your pores some people can cannot even have to wash up and don't stink I mean, I don't know how many days they could go like that, but it's a lot of people that could go on for days not stinking. They could. They could go on for days and not stink. Anybody else? They might not be able to pull that off. Well, Indian culture Indian, like they, they have been the most teased people ever. Cause man, people be you stink. They come out and tell them they don't like curry because it stink. A lot of the it's different smells that your body is not used to smelling if you're in other races. So if they smell curry food or some Indian foods, you smell that stuff and you be like, I ain't eating that. So immediately your body is not used to that smell or scent. So they've been told their entire lives they stink. Well, they have to get rid of a lot of different things like sometimes there are a lot of them in a household that's a lot of food that's a lot of people using uh, that's a lot of people using um, water light electricity so it's a lot of garbage compiled in the house. I mean, when it's a two bedroom apartment, you know, maximum four or five people should be in that apartment. Not 12. You know, and they were living above us. So I can speak from experience. And we had to say, hey, I understand they're paying you your rent on time, but they're actually getting over on you. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you now, if they don't start cleaning up, like every day, cause you got 12 people in there, they better do an inspection like tomorrow and get all this fixed. Because what's happening up there is coming down here. If I see a rodent come in this place again, somebody here is gonna have to answer to me. Cause I don't tolerate rodents. You gonna have to go. Yeah, we don't tolerate that. Not where I'm from. Cleanliness is what you're supposed to be working towards. I'm like, if you got access to a place with a shower and soap, use it. It is there for a reason. Use it. You 
use the soap. Use the soap. Put anybody through a physical grueling camp that could happen but no it doesn't take much to put some soap and water on your ass Yes, I feel that also. Yeah, we got to get back to taking care of ourselves a little bit better. So, that's where I'll leave that. I used black soap before, but then I couldn't find it really too much. Then it was just, it's weird. Depends on your skin. But yeah, black soap, I've tried that. The Neutrogena works well for me. And that's just basically for my face. But for your body, depending on what you got going on, now you might need that lava soap if you're working with tar and all that stuff. You can't be using no flowery type soap for that. You work at a job where it's black, coal and all that stuff you gonna need some lava I don't even know what that is that stuff come out red lava soap the man soap became homeless I would never ever in my in my infinite wisdom I would never take that approach that they have taken they've taken an approach that makes no sense
if I was homeless, buddy, I would still find a way to wash up. I don't care if I gotta wash up in a McDonald's bathroom. It's gonna get done. The job is getting done, one way or another. We gonna be fresh. I don't care if I had to jump in the lake with a bar of soap. They're gonna be, the, this man is in the lake. I, the job gotta get done. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to stand myself if I'm sitting there stinking. So I'm gonna be able to stand somebody else stinking. Oh, Adam Morrison was it? Like he should have been kicked out the league immediately. Uh, I don't believe in showers. So I believe you ain't gonna be on this team bus. <laughs> I believe you ain't gonna be on this court sweating it up. That was his superpower in college. Adam stinging as Morris. Exactly. When you stink enough to the point that When you stink enough to the point where everybody else stink too, something about that we can tackle that a little later but I did hear something about that straight up Not all the time do I stay with a clean shave, but I'm clean. <laughs> That's the thing, I'm gonna be clean. I wash my own drawers. I'm gonna make sure I'm right. When I leave out, it's the only way I know how to do it. that note, I'm out.